Usually have to dodge traps and fight spiders to see this much old elven stuff. Talk to Isabella if you want to sell any of it. She'll get you a good deal. For gold and glory. Right. You were one of us. How'd you end up here? I upset the wrong nobles in Ravain. Ugh, those assholes. That's what I said when I kept one of them from running off with a dangerous artifact. Isabella sent me with Varric until things cooled down. Ugh, politics. The lords don't take me on political jobs. Uh, lucky you. Traps and dragons. That's what I'm good with. Traps and dragons are simple. We didn't have a dragon hunter when I was with the lords. Why do they care about dragons now? Lots of great old crap ends up in dragon hordes. Why do dragons care about gathering treasure? It's not like they go to the market. Dragons like metals and gems. Anything glittery catches their eye. So they're like really large magpies? Mm hmm. Kinda. And they live for centuries. Lots of time to gather a bunch of shiny crap. Plus all the gear carried by idiots who thought they could kill a dragon. What's the most interesting trap you've run into? Old elven armory. Had letters on tiles. Probably supposed to spell out the name of a god or something. Probably. I don't read elven. Found handholds in the ceiling and swung across. That sounds more like a puzzle than a trap. Ugh. Puzzles. But puzzles give you a chance to test your wits. To prove you're smart enough to beat whoever designed it. Ugh. I ran into one while traveling with Varric. It had these three poles with sets of different sized rings on two of the poles. And you had to move the rings over to the third pole? And the rings had to be sized right and crap? Yes. Uh, you've seen it. That thing is Vashadon. I miss the days of dodging traps and stealing treasure. Hey, we're not thieves. We don't steal. Bob's team literally stole the big price sword from the Grand Tourney of Starkhaven? Starkhaven's full of assholes. It doesn't count as stealing from them. You don't screw over anyone who can't afford it. If the Lords of Fortune ever get a coat of arms, we should print that on the bottom in Old Tavine. My mother works with them. That's how I met the Lords in the first place. I don't remember meeting your mother when I ran with the Lords. What does she do? Appraisals? Yeah. She tells them how rare something is. How much it might be worth. Also tells them if they found something cultural. Cultural? You know, important. Stuff you don't want going to some rich noble's collection. The lords send that stuff back to the Canari in Parvalin. They pay the lords a finder's fee. They've put a lot of thought into it. Probably more than I did when I collected relics. Just thinking about the gold? And the glory, too. I can't forget the glory. Though if I defeat these gods, I'll have cornered the market there. The lords are good people. They helped my mother when she came here from Kantar. She got here with nothing but me and the clothes on her back. The only skill she had was Kunari history. The lords gave her work. When I left, Ravain was trying to figure out whether to arrest us or ignore us. How do they feel these days? They were angry for a while. And the Antom invaded. All right. I guess I'll just leave you here. A treasure hunter. With all the priceless artifacts. Okay. I was gonna go back to Ravain later. Got a thing to do for my mother. You can come along. If you want. Do I need to be ready for combat? Or traps? Nah. All right, just let me know when. Huh, this place felt lonely when we got here, but feels... Better now. Falling for the place? It just feels like we're working towards something. 
and maybe getting there. It looks like our boy Hassan is feeling his oats. Or whatever griffins feel. He's getting the hang of it when he listens. He seems to be able to handle himself so far. You got lucky the Gloom Howler didn't tear you to pieces, boy. You wait for my command. We attack together. Then we can kill stuff like that. At least he's learning. The instincts kick in. Griffins see dark spawn, and it's a fight to the death, like wolves hunting deer. Just need to corral it. Sounds like the perfect soldier. And he even flies. Aerial cavalry. A full-grown griffin is a force of nature. Every muscle in him, every talon, every feather, honed into a killing machine. Hassan's ancestors took on archdemons. Like his name says, he's an arrow. Half lion, half eagle, with the instincts of both, griffins will always be hunters. Just like his daddy, Davrin. <laughs> I suppose we are our nature. Not sure about that. Most of my life I've hunted the darker things in the world. But caring for a griffin? What do I know about that? Yet here I am. That's not so bad, is it? Not the path I expected. Makes me wonder about a son, his brothers and sisters, still young, pure. You're worried. I'm responsible for the future of every griffin alive. I want it to be a good one. These animals live to fight, but I wonder if there's another path for them. I'd like to think everyone can find a new path, even griffins. Just wish I knew what it was. Doesn't every good parent? Parents, a scary word. I'm supposed to be his bodyguard. What do you think you've been doing this whole time? Trying to ignore it. If I get myself killed by a herlock, that's on me. If it's a son, I just don't want to mess it up. I think that's where trust comes in. That Turlum idea you keep talking about. Trust a son to find his way. Don't force things. He's headstrong. Good thing you are too. <laughs> right. Thanks for the chat. you left it? Close enough. I think the caretaker's been tidying up. Rook, now's not the best time to chat. Let's talk later. Later then. It's a fine hobby for any young mage. Not really. I just need something that can dissolve copper. 
Oh, um, but I'm sure alchemy's fun. Ah, oh, those happy hours testing acids in the mortuary chambers. You remember the Hall of Valor that the Lords of Fortune have? Isabella says we should get ourselves invited. Interesting. Just tell me when you're ready. <laughs> 